All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Picking up exactly where we left off. Letting all the textures loading in right now. Uh, let me see here. What did you say, Rom? I see your tweet. I'm ready to get hurt again. <laughs> Same. Same. Yep, and that's exactly why I uh, am playing a different game in the meantime. Whoa. What happened with... Oh, these are just Seekers. Ah, oh, they're just Seekers and dead Magisters. No big deal. I mean, we should at least loot them, though. I don't need the tooth. Oh. There's a lot here. Oh god. Why do I feel like she's gonna be hostile? Pick up everything we can here. Yeah. Take that. Got what we came for. This is what success looks like. I won't see them tossed overboard. Not here. We'll hold a proper service. <laughs> oh, the bodies that I just saw. would want us to get this ship sailing before all else. They died for those Godwoken. Oh. You know their names, Malady. Can't you even pay them that much risk? Gareth inhales sharply, then catches you out of the corner of his eye and smiles barely. Our guest stirs. Welcome, Godwoken. Glad to see you safe. Ah, uh, very glad indeed. How many too were many. lost? One too few, uh, Alexander. He's alive. What? How? Apparently, didn't hit hard enough. No He's way. In the hold below decks. Unconscious, but alive. Question him. Someone has been hunting your kind, and Alexander fancies himself the only god will. As far as we know, you may even be the last still alive. If Alexander is guilty, yes, we certainly had. She's mute. We need to free her tongue. Sir. You're welcome to try. What Gareth means to say is don't bother. Livewood will only move when it wants to, or in. That's right. The ship's made of an elven ancestor tree. Spirit. What we need is a way to control the bloody thing. The Seekers, the survivors of us, have been combing the ship from bow to rudder. It hasn't been easy. This place is laced with... These Seekers have su... We lost a man in the search. Mm. Malady might not appreciate that. I'm sure the Godwoken will be able to get the ship moving. It's your best. <sighs> so the ship is an ancient... Uh, made of ancient elven stuff. Interesting. Ah, there you are. High time to stop gallivanting and resume our journey. Off we go then. Oh, okay. Nice. So you can just straight up pick them up again. Yes, I did. Is that Gareth? Check this dead seeker over here. I keep getting uh, the seekers messed up or mixed up with the. Uh... Oh man, Caravan's dead. I saw him a few times. He was a good soldier, man. My seeker brethren, show us. Oh. Don't go any further, Godwoken. We need you alive. You're not been told it's my to get the ship. 
You have to search everywhere. I know what's at stake, but I have to warn you. She glances over towards a smoldering pile of ash on the deck near. That was Brendan. When the ship wouldn't answer my call, he touched the figurehead, and it attacked him, without warning. He burned like he was made of parchment. Oh. Nothing. The ship is live wood. That much is clear. But I couldn't communicate with it. The Magisters must have done something, warped it. So she sighed. I know. Just be. Her eyes. Thank you. All right, we'll we'll do that like last. That's sketchy. Uh, let me go down into the underneath all this. Find a way to get this ship. You fine. Ah, look who else is here. I was just getting used to this seafaring life. You know, we could ready. We. The silent monk leans from one. Fo oh, that's a silent monk. I thought these were the two other uh, companions. Lista. Oh wait, let's talk to the ship rat. Do you know anything? You cruise <laughs> with your legs and arms and your opposable thumbs. You always want to steer the ship. You need to trust the ship. It knows what it's doing. It dances to the tune. It goes la 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 or something like that. It's pretty catchy. But I can't remember how it goes. Oh, she opened it and oh, I oh. that's always it for me anyway. Okay. The burly dwarf is distracted by his own fate. Two heads are better than one, Papa used to say, and he had three, so he'd know, eh? <laughs> You're looking for a traveling partner? Eh, suit. He drags a comb through his beard. His face bears the Huh. So they all come to the ship anyways, and then you can pick and choose who you want to come with you. I guess? Yeah, there's Fane. <laughs> oh, I thought he was wearing a helmet there for a second. Oh, please don't stare. It's tiresome. Yes, and human, alas, but you're quite thankfully. There are answers to be found. I simply need to get to Reaper's Coast to return to the Black Pit's excavation site. The only tra- I was investig- Alas. Still, it's good to be on the move again. Whoa. Thing almost fell over. They simply asked- I made- Damn. Physical contact. Voice lowered. Coil looks. Why that would come now? Let's begin immediate Fane grabs your Oh What? I uh well that was most unusual. I mean I had read all the leading of it's just that thing you did with your tongue Whoa. it was quite un uh yeah <laughs> Wait, so he's level one. So that means if I, yeah, same thing with beasts. Does, does that mean if I chose them, I'm assuming that they were remain level one until I level them up to my current level? Beast, where is the girl? Lays or whatever her name is. Not down here. I honestly think that's um that's the party I'm gonna stick with, with what I had, because I feel like uh, it was working out pretty good, and I was starting to get to understand them a little bit more. Even though if I probably restarted, I'd probably go with swapping her out with um the other guy. 
uh, Fane, but maybe for a second playthrough I can do that. I can have Fane, the Red Prince, or maybe like Fane, Efan, I, uh, the whatever his name is, the Beast, and then finally uh, somebody else. Oh, or the the other girl too. Actually, I forgot the the elf. She up here? No, she's not. Where is she? Is there like a crew quarters area? I see down below. Where would a magister hide something? Not like there's much further they she could have gone. Uh, Lady of War, find out how to control the ship. We spoke with a rat by singing. Red Prince, escape the island. Champion of Gods. Pray that they may find rest. Do a quick save. Before you is a towering figurehead carved in the likeness of a dragon. It looms over the bow. At that moment, the ship serendipitously creaks beneath you, almost like it is acknowledging your observation. Morning is still fresh in your mind. You decide not to risk it and take your leave. Searing pain races up your arm. The ship senses you. It's angry. The pain in your arm subsides to a dull tingle. The skin in your hand is already blistering. Searing pain races up your... The pain intensifies. It's spreading past your arm, across your chest, your lungs... Oh, God. I see why now. Here, I warned you, didn't I? Why did the god <laughs> Why did they choose a fool to be their champion? This one frustrated me. Yeah, what's going on there with I uh, let me talk to Gareth. Void Slayer, Worm Killer, Godwoken. You have many names. Let's add ship's captain to the list once we get this thing moving, shall we? Driftwood, of course. Meister Siva's there too. She held the Seekers together when we had every reason to fall apart. Hmm. Think of her as a teacher. I won't let the Faller to think that. He's down there. Amazing to think those of us in the Order once assumed the gods were with him and only him. That was before we found the others. The others. The Seekers were once part of the Order. When Lucy ah. died, we waited. Yet Alexander never rose to divinity. And then we started to find more like him. More Godwoken. And we weren't the only ones looking. A killer had marked them too. The Seekers were born. We found Godwoken. Housed them. Fed them. I loved them like family. But let's leave the past in the past. And reach is not. I don't know how, but there are... Gareth, think keep Lucy in... Okay. Sounds like he didn't really know too much, uh, too much more. But let me go chat with her. There you are. I was just thinking. This is Dallas's ship, but she can't have been the only one who could get it moving. There's a way to move this ship on board. I'm sure of it. Why well, there are only many You'd places. You'd be surprised. Like. A ship like this holds many secrets. Hopefully you the figurehead has certainly caused a commotion lately. But then again, so have the doors downstairs. Everywhere you look, a hunk of wood naughty lid. I wouldn't have taken that rune on the figurehead as a slave scar myself. Well, we'll need to find the song that'll control it then. Hmm. Well, you'll need to. The figurehead has certainly caused a commotion lately. Dying to hear them. Say that early on the beach, you mentioned someone who wanted to meet you, then miss. 
Meister Who's Siva that? is one of a rare Meister breed. Siva. She'd do anything in the name of a queen. We'd better not leave her waiting. She's a bit particular. All right. Well, obviously she's not going to really help too much further. So, let's see if there's anybody down here or certain things we can Andrea, investigate. We're bringing. Yes, I did hear that. The silent monk leans forward. Oh, so much beer. Is there anything that plays music down here? The burly dwarf is dis- Two heads are better than one, Papa used to say. He drags a comb through- Did you hear? We're bringing- Wait, that's the same guy that I talked to a second ago. Ah, <laughs> uh, repair hammer, workbench. Be all the way back here. Oh wait, is that her? Oh, that's her. I was looking for you. Melody says if we can get the ship to move. Oh wait, no, it's not. No, it's no, it's not. All that fighting will be worth less. Oh come on. Is this level of un? You want me to walk with you? You? I'm almost certain this is known as flirting. There's no accounting for. <laughs> Jeez, these people move so fast. This guy was over there a second ago, and now he's all the way over here. What does this rope do? Oh. Nothing. <laughs> Other than pick it up. Aha! goes further down here we go oh whoa that looks very interesting hold on let me pick up Lois hey Mosey. I'm so We've got quite the task on our hands, haven't we? I have to admit, the whole thing is very intriguing. What's next is chapter a whole, but I hope that you're joining to join you in finding out. Band back together again. Look at me. Losa leans back slightly, thin arms crossed in front of her chest, and stares at you defiantly from dark eye sockets, darker and deeper set than when you first met. She blows back a lock of white hair, matted with sweat and grime and holds back a smile from the corners of her lips. Seriously? Look at me. I look like lukewarm death. <laughs> this is- I want to make sure you understand, well, the risks. You don't get it. I'm- can you do that? Did it before when she turned against Alpha. Remember, tell her will do whatever is necessary. Promise? Well. Oh. She pinches your cheek. I knew I could count on you to murder me in a pinch. Let's go, Chief. <laughs> Being behind bars suits you, murdering stuff. All right, I forgot he's in here. Magister Rand. Bishop Alexander lies supine on a bare wire cot. Though unconscious, his eyes are only half closed. His swollen jaw hangs open at an odd angle. Bruises swell beneath his eyes, and a shallow gash zigzags from his right ear down to his beardless cheek. Unconscious, he looks more boy than bishop. Hmm. Someone has wiped the bishop's hands clean and folded them neatly over his abdomen. They rise and fall in shallow, jagged swells. You can't quite make out the. D bishop Alexander lies soup. A young magister paces around the brig. She notices you observing her. She straightens her back and sets her jaw in a defiant scowl. 
Magister Ranley, Corker's mate of the Divine Eminence vessel, Lady Vengeance. That's all the information I'm giving to any of you lot. So stow Whoa. your questions. It's Magister Ranley, Corker's mate <laughs> of the... The Magister falls silent, but stares at you with unwavering defiance. Tell her that she ought to not antagonize their captors and she would wind up with the divine's blood on her hands by proxy. There's a shift in the Magister's expression. I'm a good Magister, loyal, but Dallas, something about her has changed. She's toying with dark magic, like a common sorcerer. She used to, she had this old book of hymns and incantations. Oh. It was only ever in her hands or else locked away in her cabin at the stern. That's all I know. Ah. To find you the spoke, book. Didn't you? Got that magister to talk? Oh, good work. I knew she'd crack eventually. Good luck getting anything out of either of them. Our special guest is out cold. All right then, just. I'll keep an eye on the red until the cage is locked again. Okay, if we need to kill him, uh, we'll do so. Wait, close the door behind us. No. Oh. There we go. Get away from him, sorcerer. That's the divine. Uh, point out that she's alone, unarmed. Remember, tell her to back away. You have important matters to attend to. Yeah. All right. Not going to harm him. If Anne grabs you by the sleeve, not hard. Let me work on him. I've got questions that need answers. Answers I can only get from him. If Anne approaches Alexander, who lies flat on a bare wire cot. Though unconscious, Alexander's eyes are only half. If Anne grabs him by the jaw and shakes violently, <laughs> Alexander's face contorts with agony and his eyes flutter. Yet, why did you trigger the death fog before? No matter how loud If Anne shouts his questions, there is no response from the unconscious Alexander. He reaches his arm back, and you realize he intends to punch Alexander in the face. Reach out and grab his arm. You won't let it stand by an unconscious man as being. As if waking from a dream, he turns to you, disoriented. Hesitantly, he drops his fist until it hangs loosely by his side. Sheepish now, he scratches the side of his head with his... You're right there. With a nod, Ifan strides away. Nice. Bishop Alexander lies soup, bruises swell, someone has wiped... A beautiful... The gem sits heavily in your pouch. We got a strange gem from him. Okay. So, Lady of War, I uh, had a rather particular gem. It might come in handy. Got it. All right, let's try using this thing. Whoa. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. So if you want to change up anything you have here, you can change it up. I see, I see. It's a uh, respec. You can change appearance, tributes. That's awesome actually. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with how my character is going so far. The only thing is maybe... No, Pyrokinetic, I do have an ability. Um, yeah, honestly, everything seems pretty good. I like how it's working out so far. But can anybody use that? I have a feeling anybody can. Yeah. Oh. That's pretty cool. So you can even change like how people look. What? <laughs> that's even funny too. 
Actually, I might use this on my uh, the other characters. All right, where we have here? Why does she look like Trish from uh, <laughs> I Witcher Three? I think I'm gonna have her stick with her hairstyle, but I might turn her into a, yeah, blacksmith hair. Uh, maybe we'll, let's see. Princess Leia style hair. Yeah, stick with that. That all looks good. Uh, I think for her, like, I'm not really going to change much. Seems like majority of the abilities we chose are fine. Talents. Increase the range of skills. Opportunist. Torture. Wayfarer increase all physical damage. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. Use the prince. Wait. Wait. <laughs> I didn't know that he had like hairstyle like that. Interesting. You can keep whatever you have, honestly. Tributes. His strength is really up there. Abilities. Two that's from Gear, Necrobancer. Um, I don't, I feel like he might not need bartering. But a trader become cheaper and items become more expensive. Yeah. I'm gonna give him like, let's see, Lord Master. We have somebody else that has Lord Master too. Sneaking, thievery, bartering, persuasion. I'll give him one persuasion and more lucky charm. Talents, Executioner, Opportunist, Picture of Health. Picture of Health gives you extra vitality for every point in Wayfarer. Yeah, definitely keep that. And yeah, that's fine. Last one, Efan. Uh, the Ness is good. Intelligence. I think it's fine too. It's kind of up there for him having like a bow. I don't think he really needs that high intelligence. Maybe I could like even bump it up to that. Huntsman, Scoundrel, Geomancer, Ranged, looks really good. The one thing I could do about the other guy, too, is, um, I could actually swap things out. Yeah, let's move that down. Bartering. Give him Lucky Charm as well.
Okay. Except. Let me go back to the Red Prince real quick. So in his talents, no, abilities. Um, is it attributes? Where was his... Aha, here it is. Single-handed or two-weapon. Right now he's using two weapons, but I feel like he might be better off with single-handed. With a, uh, a shield. But this two-handed weapon is pretty good. I don't know. I guess I'll just leave it for now. There's not really any point in changing it up, really. Boom. Just like that. Okay, so let's see if we can get into this other room now. Oh, there's a locked door right here. The door seems like any door, at least at first. Then you notice it's unblemished. The wood groans and creaks. A face appears in the wood, tortured and tormented. A six of the face vanishes. The anguished face appears once more. It dips its forehead towards you and waits. A shudder of pleasure racks the figure in the door. It seems to breathe. All of a sudden... No entry allowed. Please use the port side door. Uh... <clears throat> the port side door? So the other one? Okay. <laughs> we can try this one. <coughs> I am summoned. Speak the password. You've summoned me with the gem, indeed. Now, uh, the password. Uh-oh. The password? There's something to these doors I'm not seeing, but... Again, I say, how very unfortunate for you. Your knuckles will rot to bone long before you break my resolve. No. Demand the password on authority of Dallas herself. Failure. Oh, God. Success? Impossible. The oh. human mind is as simple as... <laughs> this is the state room. Authorized personage. Okay. Uh, let's go back here then. I'll keep an eye on the red until the cake. Got that magister to talk? Oh, good work. I knew she'd crack a. The Magister leans in. If you ever find yourself face to face with Magisters, you tell them I was tortured. I didn't betray the cause. Not until I was near death. Understood? Bishop Alexander lies supine on a bare wire cot. The bishop's white robes as bruises swell. Someone has wiped. Hmm. Got that Magister to talk? Oh, I knew she'd crack So we need to find a password. Maybe we can talk to this one and get into this room and then ask for the pet or find the password. Enter through the port side door. Listen up so I don't have to repeat myself again. I am not an entry door. <sighs> Fine. Answer the security question. <laughs> Even this thing has a security question. The password is now answered. The face in the door is confused. Drat. Fortitude. Aha. This is the state. Yes. A. Just one more moment, please. Whoa. He clicks together two halves of some type of gauntlet sitting in his lap and turns his... And there. 
Rescued at last, am I? To whom do I owe my thanks? That you and your compatriots have seized the ship from the magisters and been to know who he is. I'm a prisoner, of course. Do you think I'd be sitting here calmly if I was a magister holdout? That infernal Dallas woman left me trapped here, too weak to escape. It seems I'm in your debt. Dallas took a particular interest in me and my skills. I'm an expert in healing, crafting, and uh, more arcane practices. She kept me here to do her bidding. Mm. Until you took her flagship from right under her nose, it seems. Oh, yes. And she could be a most cruel mistress. He extends his arm and pushes up the sleeve. Beneath, the skin is withered and dis... She used some form of domination device on me. <laughs> forcing my hands to do her bidding. And I've ruined them in the process. I don't think this guy's telling the truth. Well, the situation is looking immeasurably better now. You're here. So why don't you tell me all about my valiant rescuers? To whom do I owe my thanks? <laughs> Future savior of rebellion. Uh, tell him it's not to say that you're just an escapee and you're lucky. You're lucky you've made it this far. Hmm. A lofty take on yourself, no? I ought to continue what I'm doing here, unless there was anything else. Oh, cast spells, tinker with relics, meddle with the laws of nature. All the sorts of things power-hungry despots love to do. She had me enchanted dead cat over there, so it would seem alive. He clicks oh. the gauntlet into place around his withered forearm, his eyes on you the whole time. That damn contraption that she used on me seems to fog my memory. The rest is a blur. Trust me. Convenient is the last word I'd use to describe the experience. Pass me that copper wire there, would you? He takes the copper with a nod of gratitude. His sleeve slips back above his elbow. In its crook, you see part of a tattoo. A pattern of concentric circles. Perhaps my memory will come back with time. But for now, I'm afraid there's little more I can add. I'm doing my utmost to be civil to you under rather trying circumstances. Why must you push me like this? Mike, that is strange manner. His abilities is a tattoo. Something doesn't add up. He's holding I'm back on you. I'm more than a sum of my parts, friend, indeed. But I fear you might have come to the wrong calculation about Nobody me. with tattoos How can be trusted, man. To rest? If this one was enslaved by Dallas, then he could still be under her thrall. The Seekers are too trusting by half. We can't just let this healer go free. Something tells me that he'll only bring us woe, but I can't judge him yet. I offer my hand in friendship. I don't like the look at him, so I'm afraid this time has, this time has come. Ugh. They don't like it, but I'm like, the Seekers trust him, so I kind of want to trust them too. But... He takes your hand in his gauntlet-clad fist and shakes it. There's a lot more power in his grip than his slender frame would suggest. Call me Tarquin, and consider me at your service. Mark that you think there's more to his story. He can trust you if there's something he wants to get off his chest. Acquainted. Why should I tell you anything personal? You're in the same boat, so to speak. It'd be better if he knew and could rely on each other. A fine sentiment. But I have nothing revelatory for you. I am as you see me. Say so that his reluctance to talk about himself makes him doubt that he's truly trustworthy. Wonder if he can give any insight in Dallas following his time in captivity. Admit, despite what she did to me, I can't help but admire her a little. The woman is unwavering. She will break. So if you should cross paths again, be sure to leave her broken. You will not get another chance. No! This the Magisters left me weakened. But this will help give me the strength to carry on my work. Yeah, anything he is willing to trade.
All right, let's see. Whoa. Looks like he does have a good amount of stuff here. Tackles of pain. Which ones are for necromancy one? Mosquito swarm. Forget who has somebody that I have. I think it's um. Yeah, the prince can do one ability. Decaying touch. Two meter range. Hmm. I think I'm going to pick up this and decaying touch for the prince. Because I feel like both of them could be very interesting for his skills. Uh, then let's offer my wares. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Uh, does he have anything else that I want right now? I just want to look and see. Okay, so if you add stuff from your... Uh, from them first, then you can see uh, what you get. Or if anything's any better for you. Compared to... Uh, what they have so say if i look at these wands mage's armor eh it's definitely a little bit better but at the same time we get those stat bonuses honestly i think i'm just gonna take the money yeah Yeah, I'll take that. I accept your offer. Okay. Check the, the desk here. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Crap disarmament kit. Ancient book. I've spotted something. Aha. Good call. Whoa. What well, wasn't expecting this, but okay. Maybe this is why the uh, thing upstairs was not happy at all. <clears throat> There's that. Such a tiny room. <laughs> all right, let's see. And I almost bounced off of him to the other one. Critical hit. Honestly, we're so close. I think I'll just use my abilities. Yeah. Uh, I mean, might as well. Targets too far. Ah, uh, no. I'm 
good hit. Are you, bro? So close. All right, take him out. Are you kidding me? What? Get, get him out of here. Thank you. Took a great fall. <laughs> Both, I fear. We killed them off by doing that. The hammer is pet. Wide here. Logbook. Got a key. Hot bar is full. Access the second deck if you want want more spaces. Okay. Your teleporter pyramid. Whoa. This looks like a teleporter pyramid. It could certainly come in handy. Receive the teleporter pyramid. These a pyramids are linked to each other. Open the inventory and use Only it to teleport to, it to it its partner. So try using it. Oh man. Ah, uh, that's that like almost scared me for a second there, but it's it was fine. So this teleporter pyramid. Oh boy. Oh. Another pyramid. I'm stuck. I'm stuck between the chairs. <laughs> Good to be on the open seas again. Oh my god. Set sail for Driftwood, I reckon. From there, we can track down my old pack. Yes, but if he's God Woken like us, maybe for now. The Lone Wolves were tasked with killing God Woken. So if we want to find out who's hunting us, we'll need to track down my old pack to get some answers. It does, doesn't it? Me too. A god I don't believe in told me things about myself I don't believe. <laughs> yeah. Well, what can I say? Whatever we believe, we still need to live in the here and now. So, let's get back to work. Sounds good. He grunts approvingly. Wait, is this supposed to take me anywhere else? Uh hmm. you after something. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, okay. It looks like that actually Fix it. Are you kidding? How did he reach that? It's good to be on the open sea. He grunts approvingly. So and you thought Rivalon was flat. <laughs> I think it certainly took I disagree similarly. No, it is enough for th Where it's stuck. Bill.
Wait, why can't <sighs> really? Ah, there we go. Okay, so where were those books that we just recently found? One. Teleports you to the other connected entities will follow whoever who has the initial travel you can use in a pyramid while holding it in your hand or interacting with the other while it rests on the ground. Touching the pyramid isn't suffice. This is all I've discovered less. Okay, so like if you need to get from one area to the other one. Uh, whoops, take that back. That's why right now when I pick it up, it just teleports me back and forth. Mm, there's nothing else down here, right? At least I don't, I don't see anything else. Dense notes. That might be it. Dusty tome. This is written in ancient lizard script. Aha. It appears to be a song. Aha. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a skeletal cat. I'm a monster. I click and clack as I my tail rattles like it. I suffer. Don't touch me. My was Tarquin, that wretch, that rat. I ate an ill mouse and passed in my sleep. Me miserable. Mumsy? Is she here? Mumsy, where are you? Tis I, Boopley Bear. I am quite changed, but be frightened. Bye. Here, this feline's lament, oh immortal gods, I am so wretched. And what is a boot? You! The cat begins to purr and ro Any friend to Mumsy <laughs> is a friend to me. song, of course. Trouble not my weary mind with duncery. Oh my god, kick the cat and take your leave? What? The cat purrs and eats. Tell Mumsy to come back soon. Now that I am but bone, I'm too light to trip the moving door. No oh, crackers, <laughs> don't be like that. I was looking at his bone structure for academic purposes. <laughs> There's nothing to be jealous of, honestly. Uh, is there a way we can get inside this room now? Well, technically, actually, there is. Uh, let me teleport somebody in there. Ethan, uh, check out the display case. Plated gloves. Metal staff. Two-handed sword. Gold pile. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Lavender necklace. Night sky amulet. Open up this. Painting of Lucian, painting of the battle. Button. What does this do? Aha. I think that's everything in here. Maybe the rug. Yeah, that's good. Now even he has too much to carry. Send it to the prince. Whoa. Drop one of them. Why is he in cupboard now? Oh. Because he had two of them. Now he has one. Can't move and cupboard again. There we go. Jeez. Wait, is this one lighter? No, it's not. Send this over to the prince. You know what? Send this one over to... Oh, geez. It's even heavy for her. All right. Go back to this guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're like speed running. All right, all right. Hold on. Hmm. You after something? I sell Looking some to stuff. Interrogate me again, perhaps. I think this is it. Yeah. Wraps plate. Boon arrow shaft plate. Stardust. Why is that in here? What? Paintings. ever identify this what else do we have okay these gloves ah uh, they might be better on him Is he, he doesn't even have any gloves right now really Metal staff. Yeah, that's a lot better. Sword. Mm, yeah. Set burning. Actually. Nah, I think I think I'm gonna get rid of this sword because the other one has a good amount of stats on it. 
Maybe, maybe. Oh, definitely not. Not that one, at least. 14. That one gives them better range and better finesse, though. Let's see. Constitution. Nah, I like the stats of the other one too much compared to some of these basic ones. Overlord. This is the shield that would be really good for the prince if I had a one-handed sword, but I don't right now. It's cold as hell. The nest and bartering, eh. Eh. Ring. Does anybody need a second ring? I feel like this would be good for her. Is there restoration? Male armor. Add. He has better finesse and huntsman with that. Uh, mage. Mage garment. Not for that. Maybe for her. Yeah. Yeah, I would say it's probably better. Dagger, no. Wand, might be better for me. Air, yeah, I'll replace it with the air one. I mean the water one. Scale armor, go to this. Strength 11, nah. One-handed mace, nah. Migo's breastplate. Uh, nah, I don't think it's worth having on anybody right now. Airy shoes. Intelligence. Oh wait, is that shoes? Oh, yeah, it is shoes. What? That does not look like shoes. <laughs> Whoa, a lot better for that. Let me check myself. Lucky charm, plus one movement, and um, immunity is slipping, and plus five percent dodging. Plus two percent, or plus two initiative, and water resistance. Tyrant's Charm. I might give it to her. Is there a lot better compared to her current ones? What's his boots look like? Ah, they're pretty even right now. And what about his? Nah, that's, that's good. Okay. Cool. after something looking to interrogate me again perhaps mm. I definitely want to make sure I get out as much as I can from this deal cross like a nest male armor uh, Okay. What about boots? Eh. Origins of Lucian. Wait, I think I might have sold him some of these books. <laughs> now that I think about it. Damn. Take back some stuff. All right, add gold to make the offer even. I 
Necromancer 2, Necromancer 1. Oh, I, I have that book, right? Yeah. In fact... <laughs> that last thing bumps it up by so much. There it goes. All right, that's good. So they get rid of these books too. Hmm. You after something? Looking to interrogate me again, perhaps? I'll take the loss. All right. Now we're, we're even. Uh, let me check my log here. The Lady of War take control of the Lady. We found a strong book in Dallas' stateroom. Back up top and up again. All right, and before we do anything further, um, I'm going to take a quick break, run to the bathroom, do all that good stuff, and then we'll go ahead and continue here. So, BR.